Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial episode 50. Last time we looked at how we were going to use do action uh, and OP filter stuff uh, t to allow users to add to our form. Today we're going to look a little bit more at AJAX uh, and we're going to look at specifically two functions called WP send JSON error and WP uh, send JSON success. So when I used to do AJAX up until actually last night when Braddy Bircher saw some code and said, hey, did you know about these two brand new functions? These are 3.5 only and above, obviously. So if you need backwards compat compatibility to 3.4, you can't use these. So what I used to do is what you see here. I've just typed this in to show you. Um, and what I'd actually do is I missed one line because we go echo JSON and code and we do our return or Ajax oh, Ajax response is what we do here. And so that's what I used to do is I want to create success. Now, if I have an error, so under my else statement, it would actually be like this, false. And then here I'd put in my reason. And what that would do, and then I'd again, I'd have to add my if defined doing Ajax, yada, 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 and send it back JSON encoded. So that works and it's worked fine, but WP send JSON success and send JSON error are way better because that means WordPress now has functions that do essentially this. So let's take a look at the codex and you can see what it does is it takes data and really all it's doing is filling in that second parameter that I used before. That's all it's doing for us. And it's a success is true if you're using success and it's false if you're not. And if we look at the code, WP send JSON success, sets our success uh, array item to true, and then it adds our data. And then it calls and it sends it to WP send JSON. If you look, you see WP send JSON does the define doing Ajax and doing Ajax and our die for us. So we don't actually need to do anything. So that makes all of those lines of code, remember times two, depending on exactly how you had things set up, we don't need it. So we can send all of our HTML, so our whole form we've built, and send it through as a success and just pass the HTML. And how I normally handle that on the front end, you can see I have response because on line 11, I've defined my Ajax response and success equals true. So when success equals true, I find where I want to put my Ajax response and then I add the data to it and that's it. So I'm calling response.data. So I'm calling the data, see where it's defined response data, the data item out of our array. These two functions are wicked. Save me a bunch of lines of code. I just wanted to pass them on to you. Thanks for watching.